Alright, welcome back everyone to Banner Saga. Oh, just fantastic. Um, so we're here, we're drinking, I believe this is where we left off. It kind of brought me back to a point a little bit earlier, um, but nonetheless we are here. You raise your drink, toasting the alliance between man and Varl. The others join in. Ludwin's impression is like a stone wall, but the others laugh at your exaggerations. Eventually, you sit down beside Wagner. Uh, so we can either go easily on the drink or just go get shit-faced, or we can chat with Wagner. I think we should figure out more about Wagner. He seems like a pretty sweet guy. Thanks for the <laughs> speech, slurs Wagner. So he's like, hey, how's it going? Mm. Sorry, I'm drinking some water here. Always drinking. Always good to drink water. Looks like you didn't have to miss out after all. Thanks to Morg, I thought the damn governor would never shut up. Mm. Having a good manly conversation. Did he give you the history of his entire family? Mm. He tried. Then he asked me to clean up his mess. For your benefit, turns out. Hmm. I'd have given the job to you too. Gods, there's no joy in politics. Hmm. Alright. Speaking of, what happens after this business with Ludden? Ludden? Luden? Say Luden. Hopefully, the boy goes back to Arborang on his own, and I can take out some frustration on Dredge or something. I, I guess dreads are like the main evil thing, alright? Starting to sound like Hawking. You don't like the life of a diplomat? Hmm. Don't you miss the fight, Ubin? Hmm. Alright, he just laughed. You down your meat instead of replying. Wagner slashes and shakes his head. Hmm. Alright. There's no great joy in killing Dredge, but this, pretty sure this nonsense is some scheme between the two kings to force some kind of lineage. Well, yeah, they want to they they be friends. Uh, used to be warriors would follow you for what you'd done. Uh, isn't that why they follow you now? Hmm. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it, bro? Is it? Or is it because I'm next in line? These lines are getting muddy, old Varl. They've always been money, Wagner. Hmm. Wagner stares in the camp campfire, lost in thought. You leave him to it. All right. Wagner seems pretty cynical about the whole thing. Not very happy. Uh, seems like a pretty good setup. We got here, gun. Hmm. You rise groggily. The campsite a cat, a casually of merriments. Sounds good. Sounds like a little merry old time. Morg is already kicking warriors awake when you spot Ludwin stalk stalking your direction. He sidesteps sleeping bodies. Better wake up. Nudge Wagner. You're needed. Alright, I guess we're needed. Frickin' Udin. The boss. Ah, uh, it's Ludwin. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Wagner releases a caged yawn and receives a hard-eyed stare in return. How long to Grofheim? Ha, uh, ha ha. You're only two days out of Strand, you know. Come, I'll show you on a, on a map. Alright, so I guess we're going to see the map of this world. It's going to be pretty freaking cool. Mm -hmm. See how long it is to Grofheim? This is where, I mean, we're only two days into the journey. Uh, according to... What's his name? Is it bad that I already forgot what his name is? Oh, here we go. World map! Go and drag the map. map to look around. A portrait icon shows where your caravan is in the world. You can also click on any location and get some history about it. I'm done with the map. Hit the X on the bottom of the screen. Alright. So we just left. We just left uh that one area. So we're going to oh my good golly. Where's Grofheim? 
All these letters are very goofy. Uh, oh, Grafheim, here we go. I guess it's up here, so... Uh, we're probably gonna head up here and up into Grafheim. Alright. Sounds good, that's all we probably need to know. We'll, we might fiddle with that more later. We head north, then east, past the forts. Grafheim's far from Strand. Going to be a long march. You should have drank. <laughs> you should have drank last night, Luden. Why not take the ships to Skyrimstead? Looks like Skyrimstead. I'm gonna say Skyrimstead. What's the point of marching? Hmm. -hmm. The Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year. It would tear up the long ships. Too bad, though. We could have shown you all the wonders of Skyrimstead. Hmm. A half-sung city crawling with dredge, Prince. Dredge and glaciers? You like glaciers? Luden, ex Luden ex exhales. Wow, exhales through his nose. A poor disguised for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent flaps as he goes... Parking at his company in the distance. Hmm. Don't poke the anthill, Vognir. He seems no happier to be here than you. Yeah, God. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend. You'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off to. Hmm. Luden's got a shorter wick than Hocken. Thanks, Vognir. Let's get moving. Another half a day to Ved Vedderfell? If we're lucky. Another half a day. Whew. It's going to be a distance, guys. It's going to be a long time to Grafheim. Uh, camp is where you manage your caravan. During travels, you can enter camp at any time by clicking the camp button on the travel HUD. Well, at camp or in towns, you can upgrade your allies or equip items in the hero's tent. You can pass the time by using rest. Resting will improve the caravan's morale. High morale will reduce casualties in war and affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. The training tent will allow you to safely try out any characters in a mock battle. Click leave at the bottom of the campsite when you are ready. Get back on the road. Alright, so I guess we have to click this hero's tent. It's probably got Gnolf there. Freaking badass Gnolf. Yeah, here he is. Uh, click on a unit to view the stats, promote ranks, learn about the abilities. Alright, Gnolf. Click on the ability button, learn about the unit's ability. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's very badass. He's just sweeping up shit. Uh, yeah. uh, we should definitely promote his. Uh, increase your greatest warrior in the battlefields are those who live past their first battles to start a journey down the road path to a legend. Uh, can we, uh, can we do any of this? I don't believe so. Should we want to promote five renown? Fuck you. Yeah. Alright, so now he's doing a little bit better. We don't care about that dick. We don't really care about these guys. Uh,. He's actually the only promotable dude. Uh, but it, it's going to cost us a lot of renown. Eh, let's go for it. He seems like a pretty good guy. It's going to cost us a lot of renown. But now he's a fucking badass. Alright. So we don't really need to do any more with that. Um, because... Pfft. So we got 66 supplies. We got great morale. Uh, so I think we can just go because we should just leave because we have great morale. We don't need to rest for any more days. And Winterfell. Even the name means bad weather, where frozen wind sweeps in from the bay. They tend livestock, but most are just men driven from strand with nowhere else to go. Why else would anyone stay? We won't stop long. Alright, apparently we're not going to stop long in this town because it is apparently shitty. Oh my god, I didn't even notice uh, the 
this, uh, this, uh, how many fighters and Varl we have? We got a shit ton of people. By hard board, this is a lot of Varl for s for some missing cattle. What? A couple days back, sent the word to Strand about the cattle. Didn't expect an army. Looks pleased with himself until it sinks in that you aren't here on his behalf. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? Where have the cattle? Where have the cattle gone? Would know, my boys. Seen men up the hills carrying them away. Don't know many men who can hoist a whole cow by themselves. Yeah, maybe, maybe these guys. Um, scaffings out here. Maybe could they have varl whipping for them? Hmm. Not from what the governor told me. I'm going to take a look around and get the camp set up. Peasant spits. The peasant spits. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, spits his eyes. Whoa! Oh my god, how can you do that? The peasant spits, his eyes anxiously darting around about at the caravan, sets up tents. Alright. We'll be here no more than a day. There's silver for f any food you've got. Uh, for hundreds of varl. Are you serious? Whatever you're willing to sell. Uh, you thinking of squatting? Not enough room for a couple, for a couple of hunters. Here, forget a thousand. <laughs> Shut up! Hear that? Where's Luden? That's faint. Sounds like fighting and something else. Hawken takes off on a run. Ooh, Hawken, our main man knows uh, knows what's up. He knows he knows shit's going down. Shit is going down, and Luden is uh. He's making some issues for us, apparently. It if he's gonna start making giving us some real issues with like the local townspeople or anything like that, I'm gonna just off his ass because like Jesus Christ, uh, if he's because he is just a dick. Um, clean a tile. We'll probably make a path. But you, oh, oh, all right. Oh, so we can kind of uh, make some paths. Spearmen. Oh, so the spearmen can attack um, indirectly. Uh, it was like a part or two back. I was having such trouble because I kept fucking putting them. All right. So uh, so we got a fifty percent chance that we're gonna hit for one damage should probably throw on I guess we can't we can't throw on some willpower. Uh, deflected attacks do no damage. Alright. Oh my god. Uh here's Ganolf and alright, we got Hawk and Ganolf and uh who's our bro here? Who's this guy? I don't know. But uh we gotta we gotta get um our guys Sundering impact. Get some hits on these guys. Start whittling them away. Oh, they killed a Varl. God damn it. Uh, let's just get him closer because we can't do much. Uh, <laughs> Bring the pain! Uh, no, sorry. We just. You'll just wait. You'll just hang out. Dredge Grun. Okay, so these are the dredge. These are like, uh... These are like... So, I think, um, really what we should do is start whittling away at their armor. Um, because we start whittling away at their armor, we'll... Be... Fuck! We'll, um, start being able to do, um, more damage to, uh to them themselves and hopefully be able to just fucking kill them. Oh god, Ganolf might get just he might die. That would suck dick. So we can either get two Ugh, I don't want them to die. Let's yeah Bring the pain to these guys. 
Um, so Ganolf is not doing too well. He can probably do the Tempest. Some real pain going here. Alright, maybe not. Uh, Ganolf might die. Ganolf just died. Fuck. Uh, we need to start beating the shit out of this guy. We use our last willpower point to hit him. That was a little bit of lag there. Aw, oh, dear fuck. This is not looking good for our little guys here. And, uh, Luton got, uh, died as well. I don't know why it's getting so slow here. Jesus. Uh, can we put... Alright, Hawkins, you're still doing good. You'll be, you'll be able to take out this guy super quick. Oh, he's gonna fucking run. Wait, what the fuck did he just do? Oh, he's doing this stone wall shit. Uh, so we can take out this fucker. Yeah, let's, let's kill him. Uh... Whenever an enemy falls in battle, one willpower star is added to your horn. Using the horn will give one willpower to an ally. Sweet. Why is it goddamn so slow? Come here, bitch. Yes, please let me walk. Oh my good lord. Uh, this guy is gonna die. Badass. I'm really sad that Ganolf died. Um, because he was my favorite character. Here we go, we got this guy. He's dead. So we lost two characters to that. That kind of sucks. Hawken, uh, though, he upgraded, so, I mean, that's pretty good, but we lost some of my favorite guys. Trying to get yourself killed? Oh, he didn't die? What are you doing? I was trying, finding... I was trying, finding, uh, trying to get a shot in between the plates. You never seen a dredge before, boy? You kind, you kind of idiot? Break their armor first. Where did they come from? We didn't even see them. They were just there. Hawking goes to where Vognir lies face down. The future Varl King lies motionless, aside from a spreading pool of blood. Oh my god. Vognir's dead? No! Fuck. Chapter 2. Cut with... Cut with keen-edged sword. Seize my terrified!